At the heart of every paddler beats a passion for water, competition, and conservation. This unique podcast aims to unite all the paddling styles and stories under one common heartbeat. This is The Paddler's Pulse. Thank you guys so much for joining us at Paddler's Pulse. This is our intro session, right? Welcome to the world, Paddler's Pulse. This is my man, Mr. Clark Graves with us. Say hi, Clark. Hey, hi, Clark. (laughs) And uh, so we wanted to take some time to just share with you why we're doing this and where it came from, a little bit about us, what you can expect, and and then a bit of an ask at the end for you guys. So so listen in. So yeah, first, what what are we doing? How do we get here? Oh, man. Uh, well, we had a company, and we still do, and that we're very excited about called Cali Paddler. Cali Paddler. And one of the main things about Cali Paddler was we love paddling, and we know all the paddlers out there do, too. Why not try to unite all those tribes out there, whether you do stand-up, outrigger, dragon boat, kayak, prone, surf ski, surf ski. It, they're all amazing. Yeah. And you and I have tried so many of them. Yeah. Um, and you more than me. I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to branch as much as I can. Yeah, but, this is uh, true. And but every time I do, I like it, and yeah. I come back to great. You got to try surf ski. Totally you true. Try. I love your stories. Um, and so we're trying to get that stoke for each of those sports under one united tribe. Mm. Um, and I think we've been pretty successful with Cali Paddler doing that. Um, and then this was like a new medium to share the stories and get people excited about it, more people on the water. Yeah, yeah, and to break out a little bit uh, out of California because there's so many great stories out there. Um, and so some of the things that we want to try to do, uh, with Cali Paddler is just like, get, get you guys some guests that are really badass, um, you know, paddle shop owners and paddle <clears throat> makers and paddle gurus and, you know, Olympic athletes and world record holders and just people who play in this realm that we want to just, we want to learn more about them. What are some ideas you have? Yeah. I mean, you know as well as I do, anytime you go to a, a, a place where those paddles, people just start talking about it, and it kind of dominates the conversation. Yeah. Um, and then you hear these great stories, like, did you know that so-and-so who's super fast, how they got their start? Huh. Um, and y- you hear these little inner stories, or these little kind of subtales of how somebody who's really great got into the sport, um, or what their favorite thing about paddling is, and it's, it's, it's always makes paddling even cooler to hear those stories. Yeah, totally. I mean, you've probably got a story. What, what's yours? Uh, my story is not very unique, I think. Well, I don't think it's very unique, but um, I've met a handful of people who have a similar one. I, I found paddling because I liked I liked the water, and I spent time as a bit of a water kid, uh, especially in high school and just out of high school and stuff. And then I lost connection with that, went through a really awkward, bad time of my life with some some struggles. and And I said to myself, like, what's that one thing that centers me really well? And it was being on or near the water. So I reached out and, you know, at at first I was looking for, like, I saw rowing and I was like, ooh, rowing, that's different. Um, But there was no non- I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. There's no non-collegiate, you know, like, it's no, so you had to, so I was like, well, I guess, you know. And then I found, I found Outrigger. I found, you know, OC6 Outrigger pattern and uh, went and checked out a couple clubs and completely fell in love had this moment like many people i've i've heard who just went yeah that's that thing i'm supposed to do and i knew it and it was so cool um and then that's how i met you <laughs> yeah yeah through paddling yeah through paddling. what was your story um i i gotta say i i'd always been kind of curious um about outrigger paddling paddle curious um, paddle curious very <laughs> I, I come from a surfing background and i was always out on the water surfing um but it's a very individual sport and then I, uh, I went to Hawaii, and a, a person I met out there introduced me to the canoe that his club had, and I got to kind of check it out, and I was kind of curious about it. And then uh, my wife dances hula, and she showed up at a, a canoe club and did a hula dance for their end-of-the-year barbecue, and I was, again, put in this position of looking at a canoe, and I'm like, this looks pretty cool. Man, that's a lot of, like, the universe throwing stuff in your it, way. It must have been. <laughs> and, and so finally, I, I, I heard that they had an intro paddle, and I jumped in, and uh. The, the funny thing is I showed up to the intro paddle and we didn't paddle that day. Oh, they introduced the canoes, they introduced all the cool things. And I was sitting there in my board shorts, ready and nervous <laughs> and excited. And I was so disappointed because we didn't actually get on the water that day. And I was like, what do you mean we're not uh. going to paddle? Um, and, but then the next day they had us come back for that. And I was immediately blown away. Oh, sweet. Um, do you remember the first seat you sat? No. Cause we both started an outrigger. So yeah. I'm guessing they probably put me up in one or two. Yeah. I was, I was skinny. a total one or two. In fact, I think, yeah, I think I was total one or two. That's awesome. And then uh, after Outrigger, uh, my wife was paddling stand-up, and so I got to see how excited she was. Um, I was still surfing a lot, though, and so mm. stand-up was something that uh, 
she had, and I had surfing and paddling, and it wasn't until later that I realized that that was another fun paddle sport. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just being exposed to it here and there, um, seeing it on the water, and always being a little curious. That was kind of how I got my uh, my start with Outrigger, and then just, honestly, every time I saw a different paddle craft, I wanted to try it. Yeah. And then I was so excited about it, I'd come home like, oh my god, I found my new love. <laughs> Never mind <laughs> did, that I absolutely love the other ones. Yeah, yeah, and did you have anywhere near enough room in the garage for all those toys? I probably. need to upgrade to this day. <laughs> uh, that's probably a problem a lot of people have. Yeah, yeah we, we, we could probably do a whole episode of creative solutions of <laughs> buying new crafts. Yeah. Instead of people putting uh, solar on their roof, they have like racks for OC ones <laughs> and twos and surf skis and subs and yeah. Uh, um, yeah, it's awesome though. So yeah, that, that's a little bit about us. I know that every, see, I'm excited because even the people who, you know, have iconic names in this industry, they started somewhere like us. Yeah. I mean, that's, and we're going to, we're going to draw out all those stories and those are going to be so much fun to tell, um, to our, our growing tribe. So, um, speaking of guests, like who, I mean, we're, who, who do we have on deck that we're going to try to like get in here so we can get some good combo? Um, well, without giving a that's actual my, that's names. That's my fancy phrase, by the way, convo. Convo, yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, I mean, without giving actual specific names. Yeah, to we protect have the some, innocent. Uh, well, we don't want to ruin our uh, surprises, but yeah. uh, we got some coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some physical trainers who are well-versed in uh, caring for your body and making you absolutely a rad athlete um, on the water and off the water training. I love those tips, um, too. We've got some people that we've met that are awesome people and amazing adventurers that have done some ridiculous uh, journeys across huge bodies of water. And we're going to sit down with them and we're going to hear what was going through your mind on the, like the 35th day of right? being out to sea. It's yeah, like, wow. That's intense. Um, and then just honestly, the everyday paddlers, the people who get the excitement in the stoke as much as anybody. Yeah. That's, that's, they've got stories that are probably as great as anybody. So yeah. we're, we're going to run the gamut. We're going to have yeah, everyone. I was just thinking an interesting thing that I find sometimes when you and I talk, is you have a family. And you are a paddle family, and that's such a different view from how I approach it and how other people approach it. And I just love that it's so inclusive, and I think it'd be fun to get some paddle families in here and like, you know, hear, oh, man. hear <laughs> right, hear what it's like for the kids and the and the and the parents and the. So that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of that. Um, yeah, uh, I'll warn you right now, my but, five year old daughter's not shy. <laughs> not at all. She will dominate the microphone. She is so. adorable too. Oh, yeah, she's super adorable. Uh, but I, I hope she paddles as much as I do because that'll that'll get me on the water a little more too. Yeah, um, that's cool. And so yeah, we're also gonna look into some deeper um, history of paddling. So people who have brought this sport um, to all of our front doors, or I guess <laughs> to our garages, or what you know however we approach it. So, um, and that's iconic in so many ways. We're going to talk a little bit about the history, where, it, where a lot of paddling sports came from, um, how they got to the mainland, I would guess, and, uh, how it spread from there and the people who have kind of helped champion that, um, that mission probably unknowingly at the time they didn't even know they were doing that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure that the people that uh, we want to hear from the most that we're going to be talking to are probably some of the most humble people. So oh, we're yeah. going to be kind of pulling them towards the and shoving a mic in bit. their face and saying like, what's that time when you but they're good stories you and i have heard them kind of off yeah they're good yeah stories. we've been lucky uh, to hear some of these stories and that's what i'm excited about is i want to i want to hear these stories told to everybody right um because they they're the stories that why we have paddling as we do now yeah um why do we have um uh, northern california outrigger association or the southern cal why do we have dragon boat associations it's because people cared about the sport so much they wanted to create a group to promote right. the racing and the competition and the community right they they put their passion and heart into building these craft right. and the paddles um they, their their passion and their efforts are why we're on the water now yeah i can't wait to share that yeah i know speaking of that too so like uh businesses also in this industry uh leaders um and just people pe you know paddle makers and canoe makers and um you know there's so much that goes into that that we might take for granted as we're just on the water and enjoying it um and i want to learn more about what made them want to do what they wanted to do and why they're doing it for all of us i'm sure there's plenty of shops that are just strung to the rafters with you know wood blanks and stuff like that and it's cool to know that that's all there for us and that it came from somewhere really special yeah. so uh we're gonna have a chance to chat with some of those people um what else this is awesome yeah i'm yeah. having a good time already um you know honestly one thing at cali paddler that kind of made us uh different from the other brands out there is we were very empowered by our tribe yeah totally you you brought to us ideas of what you wanted you told us how to get there and achieve it and so we we see this podcast paddler's pulse 
as um, the same kind of conversation. We're, we're going to be reaching out to you and we're going to say, hey, who do you want to hear from? Yeah, this is important. Yeah, we, you, you're you going to help drive this, uh, this vessel. And uh, so we're going to lean on you for suggestions yeah. and connections. Yeah and uh topics yeah let us know what you want to talk about what you want to hear what you want to who you want to pick the brain of oh that's gonna be good right yeah questions too so we'll probably open it up to a real open format like uh, we're having so-and-so on next week send in your questions and they could be weird stuff like what's your Ooh, this is a good idea what you got <laughs> so What's your after paddle food of choice? Huh, now right? we're this, about the good yeah, stuff. this will be fun. What's your after paddle food of choice, or what's your pre-race song of choice? All those weird stuff. That'd be that's gonna be fun. Okay. One of the things. What is I yours, love, by the way? Well, when I whenever I'm like at mile 18 of steering his outrigger canoe, and we're just it's we're, we're, we're dropping speed. It's hot. It's the middle of the day, and everyone's just dying uh, to get home. Yeah. I love to ask every seat, <laughs> hey. So what are you going to eat when you get back on the yeah. beach? And seat by seat, we just go down the list of, oh, I'm going to get a carne asada burrito. Yes. I'm going to have whatever. And it, it kind of perks everyone up a little bit. But then it also reminds them we're not there yet. Yeah, exactly. So, post-paddle, <laughs> post-paddle food's huge. Post-paddle food is a huge motivator, that's for sure. Not to mention a bonding experience for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Especially when you go as a team and groups and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, we're, at which point we talk more about paddling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the, coming back to uh, this is this is driven by you guys. So if you're listening to this now, thank you. And what do you got? This is going to be good. So um, thanks again for joining us. Clark, any final words on our intro for the Paddler's Pulse? Super excited and honored to be here and just be a part of this. And uh, remember, Greg and I are not experts. We are no. just two <laughs> really passionate people who love paddling and we look at this as an opportunity to talk about something we love and learn. Yeah. So if you have a question for us, we're going to be pretty honest. We're going to say either I know or I don't know, I don't know. more often the latter. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do everything we can to get that answer. And we're going to be excited about that too. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really important. If you're looking to get expert advice from us, not, not going to happen. But if you're looking to get expert advice on a topic, that's why we bring somebody in who's got it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how we're going to share it. So, uh, if, if, uh, I mean, we're here in the dream office right now, if Clark's daughter bursts in and starts laughing, like that's going to be part of it too, probably. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're going to hear a random, uh, outburst from my dog or if the phone or, rings or, um, one of our team paddlers might swing by and say, Hey, can I get another hat real quick? Yeah. And we're going to be like, hold on a sec. We're Hang recording. <laughs> Come introduce yourself. So, so this is, this will not be the super professional, but it's going to be uh, the ultra approachable podcast. Yeah. We're going to try to bring you guys enough heart and, uh, and energy and content and excitement. And you know, the the reason a podcast is good, I just want to, um, and I pro- people probably know this if they're already listening to it, but like next time you head down to the water to grab a paddle, you can listen on the way. If you want to get a piece of information, maybe a training tip, this specific episode, dial that thing up, you know, on your, on your journey to the water and get some, get in the vibe, get in the mood already. So um, yeah, here we are. So here we are, and you're going to be able to find all of our uh, shows at thepaddlerspulse.com. Yep. And it's going to be a kind of our uh, portal to everything we're doing with show notes and uh, links to all the great people that are on our podcast. Yeah, and and uh, a way to reach out to us and tell us what you want as well. Yes, please reach out to us, and uh, boy, we're excited. It's going to be yeah, a lot of fun, everybody. Yeah, so awesome. Okay, so for now, so good. So good. Let's see you on so the water. Good. Yeah, we'll see you on the water. Thanks for dropping by to listen in. You, yes you, are the great people that bring paddling to life. Join us next time, and please don't keep us a secret. Like us on iTunes, share with your buddies, and keep the paddler's pulse pumping. See you on the water.